and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For a special edition of the stream today, we are playing some Brawl. That's right, they have Throne of Eldraine Brawl available right now um, on Magic Arena where you get to play some of the new cards. There's four pre-constructed decks that you can play. There, It's free, free to play. Um, everybody can, can play it and you can choose which one of the four decks that you want to play. Uh, we are playing the Jun deck here today and we're going to play like three matches with it and see how we do. So if you don't know what Brawl is, uh, this is a, a format that's going to be on Arena whenever Throne of Eldraine is introduced where it's uh, singleton. So you can only have one copy of a card in a deck. As you see here, there's only one copy of every of a card, including your, your lands. You can only have one copy of, except for basics. That's the only thing you can have more of, are your basics. It's singleton, but you have a commander. So it's like playing, you know, commander, but with just the standard card pool. So it's not going to be the historic card pool. So the cards that rotate out in standard will not be available in Brawl. So our uh, commander is Korvold, Fey Cursed King. So two and Jund for a 4-4 legendary creature, Dragon Noble. This has to be the first Dragon Noble, right? It's got to be. Um, if it's not, uh, it is now, because I just said it is. So it's a 4-4 flying creature that whenever Korvold, Fey Cursed King, enters the battlefield or attacks, sacrifice another permanent. So it's not a May. You have to sacrifice another permanent whenever it enters or attacks. And then whenever you do sacrifice a permanent, though, you get to put a 1-1 counter on Korvold and draw a card. So it's not just when you sacrifice a permanent to that trigger. It's if you sacrifice a, a permanent anytime whenever Korvold is on the battlefield, uh, you get to grow Korvold and draw a card. So uh, pretty cool little Dragon Noble here. So pretty excited to play that. Um, and so therefore we have, a, we have a sacrifice theme, you know, right? Cause this is about sacrifice. So you see a lot of little sacrifice stuff in here, whether we have like mask of immolation, um, we have the mayhem devil that gets us there. Woodland champion. Um, I guess that only counts tokens. Now, and that's, that one counts tokens, but yeah, so we could, we have a bunch of little token makers and sacrifice stuff. Priest of forgotten God sacrifices. Goblin crater maker does a lot of stuff does. So this will be interesting to try out. I haven't played this brawl format at all yet. Um, so I haven't played with these new Th Throne of Eldraine cards at all yet. So they'll be interesting to try out. So here we go. Let's play some games. The different decks. There's there's a Jun deck, uh, just Savage Hunter. There's a Knight deck in Mardu colors, Knight Tribal. There's a Bant deck that uh, probably like gains life and puts lands into play and draws cards. It's about what Bant decks do what does this do you and cast creatures when you cast a creature you draw a card and put lands into play yep that sounds like what bant stuff does so there's a bant deck Ooh, it has parhelion that's cool and then there's also an esper fairies deck so a couple different uh a couple different tribal decks i assume this is a fairy deck okay so this is all about artifacts and enchantments casting those you make fairies all right so it's a Esper Artifact and Enchantments. That's some cool art right there. All right, well, let's go ahead and play our Jun deck. I mean, what do I do? I guess I hit back. We'll figure out how to do it. Let's hit back again. Start. Choose your deck. I thought that's where we were at. All right, now submit deck. All right, Savage Hunter time. So, yeah, we're going to play like three matches. See if we can go 3-0. Wow, yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that, good brother. It's so sad, losing people so early. So you think Jund and Bant feel the most powerful? Cool. We're going to keep. We got a cool little battlefield going on over here. No, we got a mirror match. They shouldn't let you, like, play a mirror with these. You should just automatically get paired against um, a different... a different commander. Arcane Signet is broken. Two mana mana rock? Broken. Okay. Yeah, some, somebody earlier said that they really liked the knight's 
and the fairies deck as well. Yeah. So I could either Leyline Prowler to get more ramps or get the priest in play. I guess I could I can do this Death Sprout thing. Let's do that. Let's kill this thing that's like supposed to like get you food and stuff. No food for you. What do you do? Wow, that's so much text. All right, whenever another creature dies, so that's their creatures also, or a creature card is put into the graveyard, into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature card leaves the graveyard, deals one damage to each opponent. So that's a lot of dealing damage to each opponent if things happen. Okay. Anywho, Dreadhorde Invasion. Wow, I'm reading my cards over here. Give me a break. More mana. I should have played Jungle Hollow. Good. But just tapped Paradise Druid. Okay. Come here. What's up? Uh oh. They get Hasty Corvold. Each player puts the top card of their library into the graveyard. It's pretty good. That looks sweet. Chomp. Just made in that one. Okay, come over here. You end away. Here. Let's make them. <clears throat> Doing this, we can play the arcane signet. I guess I can play Plague Crafter. Nah, that's better get the Signet in play. All right, we're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. Hooray! And the next turn, we are going to go ahead and Sir Conrad. Or whatever that card's name was. Whoa, we got a thousand XP. And I got four heraldic banners. Cool. Alright, we're one to know. Let's play two more. Let's get a three-o, Hawkeye. Alright, good. We get to play against the Bant deck. We get to play against a different deck. Um this hand, this hand doesn't look very good. We got a free mulligan. We're going to use it. There we go. This looks a lot better. Yeah, I'm max levels right now. So I think it's better to play the Paradise Druid first before the Signet, because the Signet can tap for mana immediately. 
And like right now we're not using that extra mana anyway. So we could play like Signet plus Invasion, for example. What do you do? All right, you're a flyer that ramps. I want to play the Savvy Hunter, though, I think. I think we want to start getting foods out there. Oh, yeah, Evolving Wilds triggers the Corvold. That's, that's definitely nice. Uh, it ends September 26th is whenever the leveling up ends. Whoa, that island looks cool. Look at that island. That's a good art island. I hope they card style that island. That's a cool island. Okay, so we're going to attack with that thing. Get some food. What's our food token look like? Aw, poor little piggy. I'm just gonna stone rain. Oh! That could have destroyed the fire mine vessel! No! Fire mine vessel is way more important to destroy. Yeah. Y'all are like, what are you doing? Alright, so. All right, sacrifice two foods, draw a card. Do two damage, one to that thing, and one to that thing. Yeah, I was really glad that they blocked there. They have time wipe? Oh no. Ooh, they got Frilled Mystic, and they can keep bouncing Frilled Mystic. That's pretty cool. All right, good. They didn't wait on that to kill my Corvold. All right, so we play this. Sacrifice a forest. Ping Harpooner. Go to attackers, attack, full control, attack with this thing, sack the food, yeah, sacrifice food, kill the harpooner, and there we go, we're 2-0. And we get this card. Sky Corin. Conrad. Sky Conrad. GG's. Yeah, this is quicker than I thought. People are conceding pretty quickly. Maybe we'll play mo more than just this one. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I think we mulligan... I think you really want acceleration. And this doesn't have acceleration. You get a free mulligan. Ugh, gross. 
Now the real question is, do we go to six? It's easy to go back to seven. Do we go to six? I guess not. Because, you know, our hand could look really bad. I mean, we actually have good mana. Hmm. We're on the play with, like, turn two Dreadhorde Invasion. I guess we keep that. All right, we're keeping. Oh, that's a good call, C Rex. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Yeah, because the Orzhov Enforcer has Death Touch. The Mask of Immolation says that the the creature deals damage to it, so we can we can equip the Immolation over to the Enforcer and then sacrifice Enforcer to kill their Fairy Warlock. I thought that was going to be Fairy Wizard. It's like always Wizard. But no, that's a Fairy Warlock. Warlock. Pono kept a hand with no acceleration either. Oh! I'm so used to like clicking over, going to attacks, and then playing my land second second main. I should have just played my land. I forgot this thing. That thing didn't. I was just talking and I was not attacking with that zombie. Whoops. All right. Well, now we're on the draw. <laughs> We went from being on the plate on the draw. Hey, thanks, Cat Earth Society. Donation deck. All right. For donation deck, pick whatever deck from one of your sub followers. Okay. So any deck from a subscriber or follower. Well, I could pick, I could pick Team or Extinction. I know one of the main subscribers here in the chat all the time, Matthew, really wants me to play his Team or Extinction deck again. So that works perfectly. Does this thing do anything? It's what, a 2-2 flyer? Does that work for you, Cat Earth Society? Go to the one one of the sub battle decks. The Enforcer was summoning sick last turn too. Oh, why am I attacking with the Enforcer this turn? I don't know. They're not gonna block. Moldervine, Reclamation, Enchantment. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain a life and draw a card. That's pretty sweet. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just wanted to donate and write a message, really. Well, thank you so much, Cat Earth Society. You are amazing. Thank you very much. All right, well, I'll do... I'll do Jund or Teamer Extinction though tomorrow, Matthew. That's what we'll do with it. We'll do that. I was kind of planning already on doing that, but now I'm definitely going to do it. You can't carry on. When walls go down. Um. That's fine. Bake into a pie. We're going aggro. Never seen. Come on. Aggro. Boom, boom, boom. Now, next turn invasion, we'll have lifelink. And they really make these 
Uh, commander is real shiny. So 2-3, Flying Death Touch Lifelink. Your other creatures are flying, get plus one, plus zero. And whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment spell, you create that little 1-1 one, one fairy over there. No, my army. I had amassed that giant army, and it was removed with one little removal spell. <laughs> this, is, this card is literally a, a flavor win. <laughs> it is a literal flavor win, I agree. Commander! Corvold. Dude, Cryptic Caves is awesome. Card's underrated. You would have played the Molder Vine? Yeah, getting the 5-5 five five out. Draw a card. It has Menace. Oh, hey, look at that. Over there. To the right of the card, Todd Stevens, MTG's commander. Good brother, have you not been watching our, our brawl? Shenanigans happening here? Our Cor Corvold has been amazing. Whoa, Good Brothers gifting out four subscribers. Let's get some hype in the chat for our gifted sub. Uh, oh, gifting out four four subs because the four wins with Kai Carl. Well, thank you so much. That gets us to 37. So we're only three subscribers away from our next goal now. Why would they make that attack? Who knows? I don't know. I'll block. Does the thing gain death touch or something? No, they're just attacking. Okay. All right, we're going to bake this thing into a pie. Poor opponent. All right, well, I feel like we should probably play one more game. Those games went pretty pretty fast. Yeah, let's act the food token. I didn't do any math. Uh, it was one short. Darn it. So if I would have played Mass Accumulation, we'd actually, we would have killed our opponent with that extra one point of damage. I didn't do the math. All right, so instead of sacking the food, if I would have just cast this and sacked the creature, there would have been one extra point and would have killed them. I think Brawl will be full of Nissa decks. You don't think Brawl's gonna be a bunch of like three mana to fairy? You can have three mana to fairy as your your commander. You can have that every game. Alright, so I could sacrifice the token to kill them. Or hear me out. We sacrifice the Orzov Enforcer to do one damage to Safara. Sweet. And then attack. Jump.
Victory. Yeah, creatures had menace. They couldn't block with Safari anyway. <laughs> That's true. Cool. All right, one more. Those are pretty fast. Let's do. Let's do one more. <laughs> Stop playing with your food. <laughs> mm. I was really hoping we we're gonna get paired against the other deck, the night deck. All right, so we have a, a little bit of acceleration with the Leyline Prowler, but that's still kind of slow. I think I mulligan this. Y'all are saying keep? No, I don't, Fox, no, I don't have the donation deck queue posted anywhere because it's basically never a queue. Um, I have two decks for tomorrow and then one deck for Monday, and that's it. So it's, there's basically not, usually there's not really ever a queue, so I don't, I don't have it posted anywhere. So we're keeping this because the Mammoth wins games by itself, but it costs seven mana. This card costs five mana and wins games. Why do we need a seven mana card to win games? This thing already wins the game. Ugh. I want two mana ramp. We had those earlier, and I liked those hands. So we'll scry, look for a mana creature. That's cool. Yeah, so the Mammoth fight stuff, but it costs 7 mana. The, our Core Vault already ends the game, and it's 5 mana. Um, so that's why I just want like the mana creatures to get to Core Vault, and then we win. I guess you. That's pretty cool. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to play slower and just play the invasion immediately. Wow, why did they not take that trade? I wonder. I am glad we have the mana base that we have. With the two swamps. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I bet your rock is probably going to be a really popular Brawl Commander. That was not nearly as cool of an animation as they gave Corvold. Oh, Golos, yeah, because Golos, yeah, you just get five color with Golos, and it's colorless, and it fixes your mana. Wow, yeah, Golos is going to be really popular. Golos is kind of perfect. Yeah, Golos is perfect.
Yeah, Kaikar. Kaikar will definitely see play. Kind of matters what kind of what kind of instants and sorcery spells that we get that are cheap, though. Um, I think has death touch. Because, as we know, like, Ops, Charter Course, that kind of stuff is tormenting voice. All that's rotating out of standard. So, I don't know if there will be really, really be enough in standard still. All right, well, we let our opponent on top with their commander for the first time. Not feeling great about that. As long as they keep drawing artifacts and enchantments, they have enough chump blockers for the core vault also. All right, well, here's this mammoth card that y'all are talking about. So, like, we fight stuff. So let's fight that thing. So they're going to draw a couple with this witching well. What does this thing do? Oh, that's emergent zone. Okay. It's also a cool card. We could have emergent zone in this deck because it's sacrifice a land. That'd be cool. Yeah, their commander has death touch. So that's why I didn't fight the commander because it has death touch. Shimmering Dragon. As long as you control four more artifacts, it has Hexproof. What? One, two, three artifacts. Ha! Not enough. Tap two on tar tapped artifacts. Draw a card. Okay, so they have to chump block with the dragon. Ooh, wow, that's that's a key card right there. Yeah, Hexproof would prevent... We would not be able to fight a creature with Hexproof. We couldn't Mammoth that thing. Corvold. All right, so Prowler also has Death Touch and Life Link, helps gain a little bit of life that we're leaving here. I don't want Crater Maker to die to like a Sweeper also, because they have a Sweeper, and I want I want it to be like a surprise, like they play like an artifact to block, 
I don't know, like some artifact creature like this thing or something, and then we play our Crater Maker and blow up the artifact kind of thing. And then, yeah, I didn't want to play Izoni also because I felt like Izoni was overextending, where, like, if these die, then it makes our Izoni better if they have a Wrath. Oh, we're currently 3-0 also, by the way. I never updated that. If we win this, we'll go to 4 now. Yeah, so it, it sounds like it sounds weird that I was playing around a sweeper by playing two other creatures, but I feel like I was by holding back Izoni and Crater Maker. Because of course we can recast Corvold with the commanders. Whenever your commander dies, he goes back to the zone, and it costs two more to cast the next time. So it would cost seven mana to cast Corvold, which we conveniently have eight mana. Looks like opponent is finished playing. All right. We need more Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah, I think they, yeah, from everything I've heard, it sounded like they did a really good job balancing the decks also. Yeah, it looks like opponent left. So we're 4 and 0. Oh. Four O Friday. Yeah, other other people have said they've done well with the night deck. But I've I've also I've heard both of those. I've heard I've heard the night deck's good and I've heard the night deck's not good. So there we go. Savage Hunter. Should we play one more? What do y'all think? Do we play one more? Or did y'all get to see the deck? What do y'all think? One more? You want me to play the Bant deck for one? Okay, so how do we do this? So we do hit. I don't want to play this deck. Can I change? Oh, I, I changed it over here. Smart. Figured it out. Okay. All right, we'll try the band deck for one. I think the band one is meh. Well, we're about to find out. Band one better not ruin my 4-0 Friday. Uh, see, so that's a mana thing. Hawkeye, you're in the way. I know you like to sit right in front of the screen. So I, I kept it, you know, like with us being on the play, is thinking like we get turn four, Chu Lane, Chu Lane. That's a name right there.
Perfect basics. Perfect deck building. Oh, this deck lacks Hydroicrasis to really go crazy. Oh man, we have yeah, we have Meteor Golem plus Bounce Meteor Golem. That does sound kind of broken. Whenever we cast a creature spell. That's a creature spell. <clears throat> If I play two lane, are they just going to... Just gonna wrath me. One or more non-human creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Oh well, I hope not. Let's just see what happens. All right, cool animation. And this is whenever we draw a second card, we put a counter on this thing. It's lame. Opponent is confirmed lame. Choose two target creatures controlled by different players. Return those creatures to their owner's hands. Alright, come on. Draw a land here. Let's meteor goal on this thing. Hooray. Hooray. All right, so we want to draw another land where we can then play two lane plus run away together and bounce our meteor golem and bounce their token. Lame. Never mind, meteor golem's gone. Smothering Tithe. Um, guess it's going to have to just happen. Oh, I had two extra. I had two mana for that. Oh, I could have played. I could have paid that. Gosh, they're gonna just get. All right, they just get infinite treasures, I guess. Yeah, this smothering tithe has destroyed us. Destroying us.
Because now they just get so much mana to be able to use like with their commander and everything. Oh yeah, that Shimmer Dragon that we saw last last game. That would be bad. <laughs> Seeing Parhelia makes me want to Stoneforge Mystic for vehicles. There you go. When it, enter it enters the battlefield with a page counter on it. Whenever your commander enters the battlefield or attacks, put a page counter on it. Remove a page counter draw card. Fox Trot! Alright, Agent of tre Treachery in your rock stacks. Okay, so you got a new one for us? Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, send me that link to that deck. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Decline. Parhelion! I don't think I think I want to save incongruity. I don't think I want to cast incubation. The easiest way to export it. Here you go. I'll help you out. Here you go. You can use use there. Use that there. All right. So I'm gonna to need to incongruity the Safara. Good thing we good thing I did not cast incubation. Shark toe crab. Exile that. What do you do? Man, you get to put the land into play untapped? That's so broken. This thing has like first strike, right? Yeah. I guess we'll play the stuff of legends. Attack. No. Cancel. Go to combat. Attack. Man, those things are just attacking also. Wow, Parhelion 2 is busted. Yeah, that's yeah, okay, so that's a good way to think about it. Chew Lane gives you Grow Spiral attached to every creature. Parhelion to there's no lifelink? I should have flying first strike, vigilance, and lifelink. Come on, it's eight mana. Let's get some lifelink over here. So we got the first strike damage and the non first strike damage. All right, they got the shimmer dragon. They got the Hexproof Shimmer Dragon. So now what? We got 36 cards left. Opponent's got 41. No, this thing has Hexproof. We can't bounce it.
the commander you can and an artifact. Yeah, we could we could bounce the the commander. The shimmer dragon is crazy though. With smothering tithe. Cause they have what ten oh that's artifacts and enchantments. Is that an artifact creature? No, it's just a regular creature. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, Foxtrot. Uh, when do you want me to play it? Do you want me to play it tomorrow? I could play it tomorrow, first or second slot. So, like, early. Or I can play it any other day. Um, only other time taken up is first on Monday. So, what, what day would you like me to play it, and then what time slot? Okay, I'll, I'll take a look at the sideboard. Is this an instant? It is an instant. That's good. I gotta start paying. I can't give them more artifacts. Um... Okay, not Sunday? Okay. Well, then I'll plan on playing it tomorrow, then. No, I can't bounce smut. I can't bounce the prison realm, as far as I know. Okay, get this part healing on back of my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't pay the two unless. Unless we draw a land. Whoa, we have that card? GG. All right, have a good Friday, good night, good brother. Thanks for everything. Fun day today. Hope you have a wonderful night, and I'll see you later. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, Monsters and Men's a good, that's a good band. <laughs> this deck is just gas. It is, there we go, 5-0 Friday. Finished off the 5-0 Friday with our court side brawl. Savage Hunter, we splashed the Bant deck. That was fun. So there we go. Pretty cool little deck here and just pretty cool format. So yeah, if you wanna have fun, Jump on Arena. These it's free to play. You know you can play any of these four decks. Uh, you know just get get to play some cool magic like that. Um, oh okay, we there is we had a Hydra that could kill enchantments and artifacts in that deck. Okay, so that's what we needed to do. So 
there we go. That's that's gonna be it though for tonight. I'll maybe get that up. Need to get I need to get that sixth win. I'll do that another time. But that's gonna be it here for five zero Friday with Brawl. Whenever um whenever Brawl is a real format that you get to build decks for and everything, I do definitely plan on playing Brawls. Uh, like so, Brawl historic you know, regular standard. I do plan on playing all these. So like if, if you're watching on YouTube, if you like these different formats, I am planning on playing them. I don't know if I want to do like just one day a week as Brawl Day and we just play like four Brawl decks on that day or just, you know, like play like a Brawl deck, you know, just throughout like the week, you know, like maybe like have like a, like a Brawl and a Historic and a stand and like two standards like on one day and then like three standard decks and one Historic deck on another day and three standard and one Brawl, or, you know, just have it like interspersed. Like it's not no big deal. Or if it's better to have one specific day be Brawl Day, one specific day be Historic Day. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which, which one of those formats is better. I kind of feel the first one of just interchanging all, all of them. Um, so that if somebody, maybe if somebody doesn't like Brawl, they don't just be like, all right, well, I'm going to tune out on Tuesdays because it's Brawl Tuesday kind of thing. Um, let me know on YouTube what you, what you think of like for a schedule. Um, if you just, should I just, you know, like just play, play as we get decks and everything like that. But yeah, so like for donation decks, you know, we'll be doing donation brawl decks and historic decks and everything like that. So if you, if you have like your own brawl deck that you really like and want to donate to see it played on stream, uh, you know, that'll be an option, but that's it here for, uh, Savage Hunter brawl. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like subscribe buttons over there. And I already talked about lead, leaving comments and everything like that, but Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.